Rock Band is developer Harmonix's first game since they broke away from their Guitar Hero brand and got bought by MTV. And this is sort of a new thing. It takes the elements of Guitar Hero that people like, mixes them with Karaoke Revolution, and uh, you know, adds a drum too. So you've got four instruments now, you've got two guitars that you're going to be playing with, you've got a mic, and you've got a drum kit. So you're actually going to create a real full band, you and three of your buddies. Uh, that you can also have uh, the AI play some of those characters as well if uh, you can't find four people that like to hang out together. Rock Band is not like Guitar Hero, so don't enter it thinking that you're going to have the same experience you had with Guitar Hero. This is called Rock Band, it's about being in a band, so all of these solo elements, the elements of playing alone, unless you're playing on the drums, are actually not that good. So you playing with a guitar is just like you going through a normal Guitar Hero process where it's just going through a list of progressively more difficult songs, but really the songs for guitar aren't as hard as they are in Guitar Hero, so anybody who's been playing on hard or especially on expert in the recent Guitar Hero games, uh, they're going to find these somewhat easy for the most part. Uh, and even the singing, singing alone, it's just not as developed as you know, Sing Star or Karaoke Revolution. But it's when you put all these elements together that Rock Band really shines. This is a game that's meant to be played as a party game with everybody together having fun, and that's why the focus is on the Band World Tour. Band World Tour sort of blows up all notions of what you thought a music game should be. Uh, it takes things to a new level in terms of the presentation, so when you see your guys playing on stage, they look like they're really playing the instruments, the lip syncing is actually pretty good, and the crowds are really involved. Not only, as you become famous, not only will you see the crowds jumping up and down and getting into your performance as you're doing well, but you actually hear them singing, and every single song in the game has parts where the crowd will actually sing if you're doing and performing well, so uh, it's a really awesome feeling when you get the crowd kind of going behind you and you see your bandmates actually playing really well together. Uh, you're gonna need to earn fans and stars. Stars are basically earned by doing well in the songs. Uh, your star meter will fill up. Uh, based on the points that you score uh, and the venues that you play, you're gonna earn fans. So the bigger the venue, the more fans you're gonna earn. But if you fail songs, uh, you're actually gonna lose fans. So you have this sort of balance where you're constantly trying to fight to get more fans to like you. And the bigger the venue you play, the bigger the reward, but also the greater the risk. It's not like that standard music game setup where you're just going through a list of songs and playing through them. You're actually playing as a band, sort of touring, and you'll see a variety of cool set lists to play. But other times you'll have mystery set lists, but might be two or three songs that you won't even know what the song is going to be. They're just randomly pull it out of all the songs that you've unlocked, which can be dangerous because each person who's playing an instrument can choose their difficulty level and. Some songs are actually really tough compared to others, so you don't know if you're ever going to get a mix where suddenly they're going to throw in a song like Enter Sandman or Flirting with Disaster, which is another song that is really fast and has some really hard parts to it, and you just never know what to expect. The big issue with Rock Band is that there are only 45 licensed tracks, so you are going to get a lot of repeats. I can't tell you how many times we played In Bloom in five hours. We must have played that song ten times. So until you start really opening the full track list, and even then at 45 songs, you are going to get a lot of the same songs that you're going to have to play over and over again. At the same time, you know, when you start opening up more songs and harder songs, you start getting a better mixing. What's really nice though is that if you plan to buy downloadable content, all that fits into the Band World Tour. So if you're willing to spend the extra cash, uh, and you know the downloadable content seems pretty affordable, so if you're willing to spend the extra cash, uh, you can actually continue to expand that Band World Tour experience and actually just keep playing and playing, and it should be a long lifespan. Now as fun as Rock Band is, there are a few issues. The biggest being that the guitar that comes in the box is just not that good. Uh, Pretty much universally, everybody who's played Rock Band in the office prefers to use a different guitar from a different game rather than using the one that comes with Rock Band. It's just a mediocre guitar and people who've been playing Guitar Hero for a while are probably not going to like it, but the good news is that all of the other guitars that work for your system are going to work for this game as well. Rock Band is a fantastic party game and easily the best family game that you can find on a next generation console. Uh, the only issue is that if you want to play alone, it's only really good doing so on the drums. Uh, don't buy this game if you just want to play the guitar parts, or if you just want to sing. You only want to do it if you're actually going to have a band of at least two people get together and play through this. Rock Band's a game you could be playing six months from now and still be having fun with. We will be, that's for sure. <laughs>